Hi. Hi. It's recording. Starting now. Would you mind reading your poem aloud? No. Cool. Uh, hold on. Okay. Hold on I'm gonna press pause. Okay, don't, don't press pause. I'm here. Hey, DJ. Oh no, it's called Haiti J. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I roll balls occasionally because I'm deep, deep into the techno scene. Rolled moving away from the sunrise too much. Table by table, the shadowy fleet glees me, my brother. Oh, I panty, oh, how I have been to pirate shanties, rivalding in breaches. It's like I'm tripping over the threshold table by table. As I please, I go on leash. I would, dog, it never leaves couch out to slouch like woman there is a book is a broken flap that jacket slough it off off get it off off get him off of her she didn't doth protest her rough time by fire his costume detractor he did dress offer up oh shit sorry <laughs> <laughs> offer up offer his ducats fire shocks his fay array a nice catching his giant wing Brained in the songy wake of its dim, orphic dream dram ripple manta. Ray, it gives me a job. The give me a job redux redaction. The manta mantra. I have problems. What kind of problems do you have? I sits closer. Chair scrapes toward her. Air a ways away. Nowhere dense. Super compact. Where do you live in gun barrel? Brakes no better. The real shit, not like the womp womp. But like the shit out of the UK, like Essex is banging. I've never experienced anything like it. I'm really into the no trashy shit. They're ruining electronic music for me. Orpheus? In Granada. They call him Orfeo. I call him Werefun. The Do Re Mi Fa Man. Ta Re. I call him Me Haiti J. They call me D. Are you okay, you really see? Dante? I'm real into the books. I want to get into them, not the waste are nice. No, horrible, but perfect. That's it. Yeah, it's gonna be Wait, fine. it's still going. Ha! This much. I was like, why are you Why saying? is this... Why is it still going? I don't know. No! Man, Stop it! Life is complicated. What the fuck? Oh. <sighs> I don't know what... Um... You, what? Face? Are you recording my face? Yes! <laughs> Okay, go on. <laughs> so what prompted this poem? What do you mean? Like, why... Was there anything that sparked it? Like, did you hear somebody say, Hey, DJ, and you were like, Oh, I'll write a poem. Or did you just... Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, one thing. You know, you know, like, the end of the poem, where it's kind of um, fragmenty, scatter voicey? Shit like the womp womp shit and SX is banging and yeah. um, the books and all that. Um, that actually, I was at a I was at a coffee shop in Boulder, Colorado, and um, so I was visiting a friend who goes to school there, and I was sitting outside in this coffee shop, and there were all these like crust punks there and these like techno kids who were I don't know, but there were these two kids. This one kid who was like into electronic music um, and this other kid who seemed bored the first kid was talking to him and saying all this shit that sounded absurd and gross and made me want to die um, oh. but I was like wow some of this stuff he's saying is fantastic so I just started like writing down what he was saying and so I guess that like sparked some of the lines that I used later the Colorado thing sparked some of the lines that I used later but I wanted to write um, a book about like a modern day Orpheus, like Orpheus and Eurydice and Hades. Um, and so working on this book, this was one episode where like Hades is talking to Eurydice because she just went to hell. Um, and so they're like talking and Hades is like hitting on her. Um, yeah. Why am I saying that I'm pausing it before I pause it? Um, okay. That manta ray line, or repeating yeah. manta ray stuff, just made me think of the Pixies. Sure, yeah. It was probably not intentional, but you're right. Um, 
it was probably subconscious because I really like that song. Manta seemed kind of perfect in being, you know, not connected to very much, but also if we think of manta ray, it's like a free floating, free floating and water thing that also has dangerous agency. So I was happy with manta ray. Do like we manta have a manta ray? Oh, uh, no, wait, maybe we had a stingray. Is there a difference? We had a, stingray. a manta ray um, would be bigger than yeah. a fish. Yeah. 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 Well, but yeah, we that's... also had a shark and it was tiny. We didn't have a shark. Yeah, we did. We didn't have a shark. It killed what? itself. What? <laughs> <laughs> we had a shark and it jumped out of its tank. It, yeah. I think the story Dad told you. No, I, I was there. I, th I think it jumped out <laughs> of its tank. I was there. I was in his office and I heard a plop and it was in the bucket and there was the fish tank right there and it was the shark. And this is not important to the interview and so I'm going to change the subject because we're still recording. Um, I know, dude. Collective memories, I know, you know, like, <laughs> trauma is important. We so had an eel stuff. that ate everything too, correct? Correct. I the know that's eel correct. ate other fish's brains, <laughs> which didn't fill it up because they're small brains, you Okay, know? okay, okay. Um, More questions. <laughs> yeah, okay. Evil eel. Yeah. Eel. Yes, eel. maybe you should eel. write about it. Yeah, I <laughs> think <laughs> so. Poem. Um. Today. How often do you write poetry? Every day. When did you start writing poetry, Jared? Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, I mean, I always wrote stuff, but I liked fiction more for a while, so I was just doing fiction for a while. Um, and then, I don't know, eventually I just began writing poetry. I think I started writing poetry seriously when I was like 19 or something. Uh, um, was... In school, in like undergraduate, I majored in, po in creative writing and started with fiction and just ended up being more drawn to poetry, so I did poetry and never stopped. How do you get ideas? Um, I don't sleep enough. I don't know. Um, I read shit. Um, and I walk around. Usually I, um, I figure if we all dream, we all have ideas. Um, so usually I go to sleep at a certain time and I wake up at an uncertain time. And um, when I'm still asleep, I leave the apartment and go for a coffee. And while I'm still basically asleep, I'm writing. If it doesn't surprise me, I don't like it. Um, so always the hope is that it will surprise me. Because if it doesn't surprise me, then it's probably just derivative and I'm probably just imitating others. Um, it's not necessarily true, but whatever. Jews, juicy Jews. Um, yeah, it's Jewy, for sure. Um, who do you like as a poet? Who do I like? Like, who are your favorite poets? Who inspires you? Who do you read? Shit. Uh, okay. Um, Christ, I like, um, <laughs> I like Frederick Seidel a lot, I think he's great, um, he's like 70 or 80 or something by this time, um, and he just writes like vile, like lecherous shit, um, but he's beautiful, like he writes beautifully, it's incredible, it's like sing-songy. You know, like Gerard Manley Hopkins, he was in like, he was like 1800s, I think, or something like that. He was pretty churchy, um, in a way, I guess. Um, but he was incredible, like his, I don't know, his lyricism was incredible. There's this one person named Julian P. Berlowski, who doesn't identify as female nor as male. And so, um, sure poetry is super interesting. <laughs> um, Wait, that's two woman pronouns, or is, whatever. So, um, shiz, um, <laughs> pronouns, which she <laughs> uses in poetry. Uh, Julian writes about, like, Snoop Dogg, but at the same time, Julian writes about, um, I don't know, transubstantiation. How nursery rhyme and sing-songy it was. Before, I think there's a lack, a lot of violence in education and in history, and history, education, a lot of ways teaches history and the history of 
education, in the history of tradition. Um, just like I only, mining them. Okay, I only have like 15 more seconds. Can okay. you say something like really quick and awesome that envelops your ideas or something? Oh. I don't know. Something. Um, I don't know. Usually I have to poop like halfway through the poem. It's terrible. We have a minute and 10 seconds. Right. So, would you like to talk about your book? What book? Published. Published oh, things. That book. that book. Yeah, they published it. Um, <laughs> you're, you're, Who's you're they? It. I mailed it to you. I know. Um, what should I tell you about it? It's little. It's tiny. Um, What's it it's called? A, um, <laughs> it's called Computing Have Gone to Ithaca, Frank Quitely. Um, so it's basically like the journal of this dude, Frank Quitely, who's like 32 or something. Um, 30 seconds. Who, okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I can't explain it. It's fucked up. I like it. It's okay. Um, it's not I'll bad. say. I'll say more about it. For now, yeah. you have... 15 more seconds. Say something overall. Rocky, last time you told me to do this, like, I talked about <laughs> terrible things. Like, I have no <laughs> idea what to say. What do I say to you? I don't know. Uh, Goodbye. I think that's it. We have five seconds. It's all right. That shark was killed. What? I'm sorry. Oh.